What's going on, everybody? How are you doing? You ready for some farming? Uh huh. What's going on, guys? What's up, Phil, Nathan Fiend, Matthew Shacoin, Dwayne Baker, and Eddie London. So I can't tell you're frosty anymore. Oh, you know it's me. What's up, Miss Fire Slaying? Yeah, we got a whole new overhaul. We are now the international farmer here on YouTube. Uh, and if you guys want, if, if some of you have trouble getting notified here on YouTube, I do have the link. You should see the link pop up on the actual YouTube page for the Facebook. There's a separate little Facebook page where I'll always put the video for notification as well. So go over there and turn on notifications if that helps you guys out at all. If you ever, you know, have trouble getting notified here. But anyways, we're on a brand new map and I'm excited to show it to you. It's called Gray Stone Farms, which is based in Rockingham County, North Carolina. And the map is stinking awesome. It's based on horses. It's like a horse farm. So uh, that's what we're going to treat it as. It's going to be based on the real life area. The guy who made the map lives 20 minutes away from the area that he created the map to be like. So it's a lot of horse paddocks all over the place. And plenty, plenty of fields to take care of. Uh, what's up, Fire Slan? And Stevenson said, Who needs the sexy international man of mystery when we have the sexy international farmer? <laughs> but uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming here. Even though things have changed, it's still it's still the same guy. Just got a new thing going on here. And we do have uh, Tier 1 is back, and it's cheap, like $2.99. Only if you want to. Uh, that'll give you access to all the badges, the stickers, and all that good stuff. And all the stickers and badges are new. Uh, all that's been revamped. We got a whole new vibe going over here. Uh, it's all farming. We're just a bunch of farming jackwhackers now. And speaking of that, we got <laughs> Miss Fireslaying hitting that cow tipper level one, baby. She is a cow tipper level one now. <laughs> Well, come on down to the ranch with big old international farmer. That's going to take some getting used to. But uh, thank you so much, Miss Fireslan. Cow tipper level one. <laughs> and if we look next to Fireslan's name, see how he has a little blue cow next to him? Uh, so it does the same thing. One month, two month, six month, 12 months, and then 24 months. And each time you level up, you know, you get the, the special colored cows. If you hit 24 months, I don't even know if I'll hit 24 months. That cow's stinking awesome. That thing looks good. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Miss Fireslane. What's up, Philip Deem? Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm by myself tonight. We're on a single player map. Uh, so let's get in there and get to work. Got the nice uh, Maximizer John Deere 9 to 410 with the 224 header on there. Come on, Bobby. And like I said, brand new map for me anyway. Greystone Farms in Rockingham County, North Carolina. Uh, let's take a look at the map. It's huge. This map is enormous. And I did put the link to the map in the description. So make sure you check that out as well if you guys want to try this map out for yourselves. I uh, put the link from where I got it, and it's got the credits to the modder, who is Large H Modding. Large H Modding. He's the one who created this map. And it was his first time ever making a map. And he did a stinking awesome job. He even did the, the nice aerial satellite view of the land around where he lives. I mean, this is cool. So we, I bought all the land right here. And over on this street here. And then we got a couple fields down here. I figured that's a good start. That'll keep me busy for a while. Uh, we got equipment laying around. We have no animals yet. It's only going to be horse care. So uh, we got to get all that ready. So let's get this thing fired up.
Now off we go, baby. We do finally have the chopped straw mod activated. Finally. I finally remembered to do it. And here's what happens with chopped straw. See this? It looks normal, right? It looks just like good old, you know, chopped straw, like whoop de doo Check this out. Let me shut this off for a second. Now let's look at the map. We're going to zoom in on field 65. Look what happens when I go to growth soil. Look at that blue thing. What is that? The chop straw moth. Moth. The, tro <laughs> the chop straw mod. Fertilize. It leaves a layer of fertilizer. So all that chop straw kind of acts as fertilizer for your field. So that'll get that first coat of fertilizer on there. It's not going to hit every spot, but it's still better than nothing. And it cuts out a lot of extra work. Pretty awesome. I'm taking advantage of that. <laughs> Sorry, I just now got notified you was on. What's up, Walter? Uh, Rhett Akers coming in with the $5 super chat. Thank you very much, Mr. Rhett. Akers coming in hot. Uh, he says, happy late night farming, international farming frosty? It's, it's still me. It's still frosty. But yeah, now we're the international farmer. And what that means, I'm going to explain that here in a little bit. There's a reason behind the name. We got to get my wheel fixed here. Doing that weird thing again. Let me get that tweaked real quick. Stinking wheel. Goodness. All right, here we go. All right, so what does the international farmer mean? Well, see, I've had this vision for quite a while. I think we, we all know that I have a problem. And I love this game. I love farm sim. So, this is something I used to do even on farm sim 15 and 17 and 19. I did this in the background before I was a streamer. I used to love checking out all these different maps from different countries, using all the different equipment from different countries. So that's what this is going to start. You're going to see a lot of that now on this channel. So, like, tonight, yeah, we're in North Carolina. But the next time you see me streaming here, we might be in Russia. We might be in Europe. We might be in France, Canada. Uh, there's a handful of maps I want to use, and I want to have the correct equipment to match that atmosphere, environment, if that makes any sense. So that is the vision I had. I'm trying to bring it to life here on YouTube. And uh, hopefully you guys want to hang out with me on the ride as we try it out and see how it goes. So that's that's what it that's what that all stands for, the international farmer. We just go everywhere and farm anywhere. Uh, what's up, Alexis? And Austin Harden is the work helpers on the farm. Um, the fields none of the fields are perfectly square, so it's pretty much do it yourself. Or do oh, you mean the uh, Frosty Company guys? No, I'm, I'm playing single player. We got we got like 200 mods activated. <laughs> yeah, no help tonight. You're stuck with old Frosty. But we're not putting an end to the Frosty Farm Company. We're still going to do those where I hang out with the boys. And we'll still do that occasionally. You're not going to see that very much. You'll probably see that maybe once a week just kind of depends what all I got going on but like I said this is something I've been really wanting to do so hopefully you guys are cool with that and uh, the, the farm guys they already said they're cool with how everything was going so all right we almost got a full almost got a full harvester out there almost got me a full grant yep it's full all right, let's get that pipe out. All right, we're going to go grab a wagon. I got all kinds of goodies hiding back here. The farm's awesome. It's a beautiful map. I like it. Um, we got a nice little setup. We got a little bit of everything out here.
Got the doubles hooked up here. Look at that. Got the old white farm hooked up to the doubles. All right. Let's get this thing out of here. And for the first time ever, I'm going to start using the Meridian uh, tank stuff. So we'll be loading up our silos with the Meridian uh, shoot, shoots or whatever they're called. Conveyor belts. Couldn't think of the word there for a second. Uh, U.S. farmers will always support you, Frosty. We got your, or us farmers, <laughs> always got your back when needed, though. That's right, Stephen. And we still will do that. So don't. Don't 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 think that we're not gonna farm anymore. We still will farm as a team sometimes. I'm surprised Gumby didn't join. Single player, buddy. Single player. Thank you, Austin. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That's a new map is out in the mod hub. It's I put the link in the description. And there is some heavy traffic on this map, so you gotta watch what you're doing. All right, and off we go. There's the sign right there. Get out and look at that real quick. Greystone Farm, established in 1994. Lessons, camps, and parties. That's right, you could book a party here if you want to. What's up, Dakota Stevenson? My snowflake turned into a pink cow. That's right, buddy. That's right. You got the pink cow. And you should feel pretty excited about that. It's good to have the pink cow. Probably didn't need double wagons, but I'm just going to kind of drag them around with doubles all the time anyway, so. And just a heads up, this is going to be more realistic farming. Um, I'm going to try not to spawn places. I'm going to kind of treat it as if I'm really, you know, doing the farming. So you'll see me doing a lot of walking around, driving vehicles from one spot to the other, trying to keep it as simulated as possible. That's what I would like to try to do. There's our first load of the evening. Hi, what's up, Amber? Is this fra- it is, it is. But we are the international farmer now here on YouTube. But yeah, the pink cow, it kind of looks better than the snowflake. I did keep the same colors so it wouldn't confuse you guys too much. He won't give us the 200 mods. You, you, don't, you don't want them either. You know me. I'll have a different set of mods tomorrow. All right, so we're piped out there. Shut that down and continue harvesting. Off we go. Yeah, something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So, still the same old Jack Whacker, though. It's the same old crazy voice. Same old uh, antics. Nothing there is going to change. <laughs> What's up, Dirty Bird Farms? What's going on there, driver? So my main focus on this map is, like I said, horses. Uh, there's, I'll show you once again. I forgot to show you. There's multiple paddocks spread throughout the map. So we have one here. And we have no horses yet. We still have to go purchase some. We got a paddock there. We have a paddock. I thought there was one over here. I swear there was one over here somewhere. Those are the greenhouses. There, there we go. There's another one. Two of them, actually. Two horse pastures there. One horse pasture at the house. 
And I swear there was one over here. Hmm. I thought there was four total, but it looks like there's three. All right, so three different ones. Uh, I should have said something, and I would have sent you my edit of that map where I removed a few things to make custom farm and added paintable textures. Oh, you're fine. I'm, I'm, I love it. I love it just the way it is. I really do. He did, the guy who made this did an awesome job. And I don't think I'll be doing a whole lot of editing to this one. This is going to be just some good old farming. I really like the way he uh, set it up. It's pretty. Nice decorations. Everything looks pretty cool. There's all those new stickers. What do you think of the new sticker stickers? I worked on those. I, I was on the PC all day. My wife's like, what you doing? Like, I'm completely overhauling my YouTube channel. <laughs> I think I was working on it from 11 in the morning till 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Ate dinner, took a shower, streamed on Facebook. <laughs> that was my day. <laughs> So hopefully you guys think it looks cool. It's, it's my new uh, motivation for sharing my passion for farm sim with you guys. Large H did the map in a month. He did a stinking good job at it, too. He got permission from a lot of big-name modders to use certain models, and I, th I think he did a really, really nice job. More like a nut. What's up, Justin Dearden? Mark Smithson in the house. What's up, Mark? How's, how's everything doing, Mark? I think you said you were in the hospital or got home from the hospital yesterday. Hope everything's doing all right there, buddy. While attending college, he made this map. Wow. He must be bored at college. Because this doesn't... Oh, man, he must be a genius or something. He put this thing together pretty quick. And it really is nice. And this ain't nothing. Like, you guys have only seen the beginning of the map. The road textures are real nice. The traffic is... You feel like you're in the U.S. once you get out on the road. What's up, Fred Murphy? I like it. Great job. Maybe we get some other YouTube traffic to grow community. That's what I'm hoping. I really want to get more involved with just FS22 in general. Like, I just, I love it. I've already f started following and liking tons of farm modders pages on Facebook, uh, trying to show support and, uh, you know, use as many mods as I can. And if you guys ever have a question about any of the mods I'm using on YouTube, feel free to ask. I will take the time to pause the game and look in my mods real quick to tell you who, who it's by and stuff like that. I can't, I never, I don't always have that kind of time on Facebook because, you know, it's a different beast over there. But since this is all farm sim related stuff, I will definitely take the time to let you guys know that type of information, even when I'm live. Nice harvest going here. Pipe out a little more here. I love the new image. Thank you, Mark. I'm about to play some farm sim, says Justin. I don't blame you. <laughs> Doing good? All right. Good, good, good. Frosty, you're such an amazing person. Duan, you're an amazing moderator. Thank you for all the help you always do, buddy. Now I have to transition that logo onto something. Well, I messed up on the darn colors. I'll probably change the colors of the logo. That light green looks horrible on uh, my screenshots and my thumbnails. So I have to, like, put an outline on it. 
But yeah, it turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. So I did the perimeter of the field with the swath so I could make some bales. Because I think we're going to need straw bedding for the horsies. So that's why I did the one. That, that should be plenty. And then that chop straw mod, mod. That's awesome how it fertilizes the field. It's one less thing I got to do. <laughs> What's up, Nick L. Hovis? What's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping in, Nick. Happy Friday night. Well, actually, it's Saturday morning in my neck of the woods. It's 12.14 a.m. on the East Coast. I'm very happy to help you. Just wish I could support you more. You do, Dwayne. You're, you support by helping, brother. Keeping an eye on the chat. I always appreciate that. Keep an eye on the chat. I always appreciate that. But with the name International Farmer, we might bring in people from different countries that don't speak English. So don't be rude. I mean, it's just, it's going to happen. I'm not going to be able to, re I mean, I'll, if they're able to translate themselves, that's great. If not, I just, I'll unfortunately have to ignore them, but definitely don't want to be rude to someone from, you know, a different country that's enjoying the content. Especially once we get over in Russia and Poland. There's some Polish maps with Polish equipment. I'm excited to... That's the stuff I'm... I'm pumped up. I'm excited. I hope you guys like all the, the weird different stuff that we're going to do. Some Russian farming. It's Saturday morning here in northeast Ohio, says Nick. And it's probably freezing cold. <laughs> Love to have the flatbed you had on Facebook, but can't find one like it. It's because uh, Ray Dog made it. And uh, eventually he's going to make it public. Yeah, that flatbed's awesome. <laughs> Thing is awesome. Old 68 pallets. I mean, you can set it to old 68 pallets. Alright, got one little chunk here, one little chunk there. And then we'll see what's up next. see what I can do with this wheat. If it's in demand, probably sell it. If not, we'll put it in the silo to store it. Only four degrees. Ugh. <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> what's up, Nathan Fien? What's going on there, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Work starts at eight, and I need to be up earlier. Y'all have a great night. Good night, Nathan. Thanks for tuning in for a little bit there, sir. There's our first mission accomplished. really want to put any in there. I want it all in the front if it fits. Think it'll all fit in there? What's up, Stone Cold? Frosty, have you got that snow I sent your way? Nope. I ain't got it. I think I'm empty. Yeah, it all fit in the front trailer. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't happen, <laughs> to be honest. I guess I have to get to know Ray Dog. Oh, he, he, he said he was probably going to make it uh, public. At least that's what I heard him say. We'll see. All right, I love this harvester, by the way. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's double check my fields here. 
So we just harvested 65, and like I said, all that chopped straw on the ground covered it in a, a layer of fertilizer. Um, 86 needs harvested. And that looks like barley or oats. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's barley or oats. All right, so we'll run across the street there. Cut through the yard, cross the street, and hopefully we don't get T-boned. <laughs> What's up, Luis Alvarez? Nice. Thank you, Mark. Crossing the street's dangerous. Whew. Gotta watch what you're doing there. Let's get out and check the status on this field. All right, we got oats. Oh, oats. All right. Ready to harvest. And we got about three... About three acres. Looks like it says three acres of oats. Alrighty then. Miss seeing the Chihuahua dog, but how are you, Luis Alvarez? I'm doing quite fine. <laughs> it will only unload four of 34 big pallets. I discovered an issue with it in regards to big pallets. I have to check it out to see if it's script caused or a mistake in my... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not sure if a hired worker's gonna... I mean, I can try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he sticks to the script here. It stays on course. So I did hire a worker. Who is that in there? Can't see through all the dust. I don't know who that is. Somebody took over. Should have done a perimeter cut. See, I don't like how he's driving through this crops. Yeah, I should have done a perimeter cut. I'll be darned. AI is enabled on that map. It's working. Looking pretty good, too. Dang. I didn't think it would stay in a straight line. <laughs> uh, so you have anything planned this weekend with your amazing family, Frosty? Well, my son has a Fortnite tournament at an actual, like a, a gaming store. And it's like 40 people, I guess. And he's it'll be his first ever tournament. So I'm excited to root him on for that. Uh, other than that, I don't know what all's going on. You know what? I'm going to cancel the worker. We're going to do a lap. Let's do a lap around the f this field. Because he's going to have trouble getting around it. He's going to end up hitting the fence or falling in the ditch, one or the other. flashers off. way he'll hired worker will have more room to turn around and stuff i'm doing good busy day all day at work but i'm just keeping myself warm it's cold where i am now it's it's even cold in carolina it really is it's even cold here so i feel you there brother but who's liking the vibe of this map so far like just the the graphics and This feels, it even feels like North Carolina a little bit, parts I've been. Got a little fire station up there. 
how dirty this thing's getting. <laughs> that looks awesome, too. Got a nice screenshot real quick. We get snow tonight. Weather is going crazy. Is it fire slaying? Well, I hope it doesn't make it down to my way. You keep it all. All right? I don't want none of that. <laughs> it's so windy out where you're at. Look how dirty this thing is. That is so cool. That thing is looking gross. Ooh, Bobby. And that's what a harvester looks like after a hard day of harvesting. <laughs> Don't hit my fire station now. Oh, it's fenced in. I'd have to really run into it hard to get through that. Yeah, it's fenced in. <laughs> it's 14 here and snowing. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So for those of you, how, I don't know if anybody in the chat, how many of you depend on that notification in the Blizzard community group? When I do these streams on YouTube, that's going to change. I'm not going to share them there anymore since we're under a new name. Uh, I'll be sharing it to the Facebook page. I noticed this header doesn't get dirty, though. I mean, it did a little bit. But it's nowhere near as dirty as the harvester. Right, now we can hire a worker. All right, take care of her. Man, that looks good. I get the YT notification. Go hit Fire Slane's fire station. Let's see if they have the actual name on here. Let's see if he edited. Okay, it just says fire department. I was wondering if it said like Rockingham County or something, because that's where that's where we are, Rockingham County, North Carolina. That is too cool. This is our little house, our little farmhouse. Nothing too crazy. Got our nice, awesome uh, utility truck here. Got the old Ram jacked up on mud boggers. <laughs> Check out our field status while we're walking through here. All right, this needs some herbicide, some weed killer. Got some soybeans growing here. And this field is partially fertilized, harvested. Let's get the cover on. Keep it from... Uh... Yeah, we'll have wheat in the front and oats in the rear. Isn't that where Earnhardt's are from Rockingham? I have no idea, is it? Where's my face? Fell off. That would require taking Giant's Elm Creek model and putting it through Blender. Uh, the dirt mask needs fixed on the header. Yeah, it's like it gets dirty. Well, I think some mods get dirtier faster than others. I think that might be something the modder... Yeah. However, the modder set the certain parts, I guess. I don't know why I just did that. I guess we're cutting through the yard. Wasn't the plan, but traffic's nasty.
load me up. Ah, uh, he left me. Guess we'll just have to wait till he's filled up. Uh, what combine is that? Uh, that is the Maximizer 9410 John Deere. Check here. So harvesters. Yeah, it's the... 9410 John Deere 9400 9500 mod. He is. Uh, hi, I'm new here. Is this fr It is! But I'm now the international farmer. Get it right, sir. <laughs> it's me. You know what? I think we should pick up some horsies. What do you think? We pick up some horsies. Rad. Gonna go hook up to our horse trailer and go get our first uh, couple horses. Our horses for a horse farm. All right, did my harvester get blocked? Oh, he's in that little middle section. What a jackwhacker. All right, let's go fix him up real quick. That one little ditch, he got stuck in it. <laughs> well, it's not a ditch, it's just a little piece of land in between the field. map is this? Gray stone. Gray stone map. What's up, Tyler Nor? And Charlie Van Nest in the house. What's up, Charlie? Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Gray stone. Oh, look how cruddy those windows are getting. <laughs> Nasty. Once we get across this little piece of grass patch, hired workers should get back to work. Yep, by Large H Mapping. I put all the credits and the link to the map in the description. You should see it in there, chat, if you guys want to try it out. All right, you think a hired worker will uh, start taking care of this again now? Let's see what happens. See if he goes through this grass. Nice. All right, cool. One last thing we got to worry about. Next, he'll be filled up and need emptied. <laughs> New Jersey is having a snowstorm right now, are they, Walter? Guess there's snow everywhere. 
did you get that combine from Deniz Tyson? I got it from... I get most of everything from Farming Simulator. Let me just tell you what website I get it. It had the credits for him. Uh, let me check here real quick. So I get everything... When I go, like, looking for my mods, I go to FS22 Mods, which is uh, www.fs22modhub.com. So if you go there... Here, let me put up my one second chat. I'm going to put up my screen for a second. All right, so you go over here, and you can just type it in, Greystone. There's the map, Greystone Farm, Rockingham, North Carolina, right there. Why is the map so blurry? That's your phone, David. You got to set your phone settings. You must have it on potato. You got to put the graphics up on your phone. And then the harvester, let's just type in Deniz. Uh, the harvester didn't pop up. What is it, 9400? 9400. 9400. So just type in 9400 and slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. There it is. There it is. Meet Russian women online. That's because I was looking up Russian mods. <laughs> All right, so we got John Deere 94, 95 combines. And this says, yeah, Deniz Farms, Sid, JHHG, Thunder, OS Farms, Large H Mapping. All kinds of people got credits for it. Uh, but that's where I got it. Right there. All right. All right, so we'll get out of that and get back to farming. Oh yeah, I gotta get the uh, tailgate down. We're gonna hook it up to the gooseneck. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's go get us some horses. Ready to get some horses? Man, I keep cutting in front of traffic. Hopefully they have good brakes. <laughs> All right, his grain tank is almost full, so we're going to pull off the side of the road here. Get that taken care of. What is the wash mod you use, Frosty? Uh, I think it's called Insta Wash. That's right on the Mod Hub. Or Quick Wash. You can get that straight from the Mod Hub. Some delicious fresh oats ready to dump in the back. Uh, what is the wash? Oh, just said that. I'm telling Miss Frosty, looking up Russian mods, not bods. <laughs> What's up, Diamond D? He says, hey, Frosty, it's Dallas. How's the night going? And what are the tasks? Oh, we're bringing in our two fields of harvest. And then uh, we're going to go pick up a couple new horses from the animal dealer. Um, we should have some swath uh, straw that we picked up for straw bedding. And then, well, we still have to pick it up. And then we have oats here, which can be fed to the horses. So we got food for the horses. Can't complain there.
Well, that trop, that chop straw mod is automatic, baby. It's good stuff right there. Uh, we'll let that keep filling up. Shut that down. Let's go get our horsies. That thing needs a bath. It's filthy. It's filthy, filthy, filthy. Uh, good evening, Frosty. I'm doing some planting, starting my brewery production soon. What map are you using, Daniel? What map you using? Let's cut in front of that car there. Beautiful. All right, if memory serves me correctly, I need to make a right-hand turn to get to the animal dealer. I'm still learning the map. The map's actually pretty darn huge, but I'm, I'm trying to learn where everything's at. Uh, is there, like, swimwear? Come on, says Diamond, some swimwear. <laughs> What's up, Bruce Keen? Bruce made it over here. What's up, Bruce? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Den Deniz converted it over. Nice. Yeah, it's an awesome harvester. And it's got a couple different settings to it, different size headers. This is just an overall pretty map. Love the country roads. Country roads. We've got a lot of little tiny fields for smaller equipment. And then there's, there's a few big fields on the map, but they're all kind of small, medium size, which I kind of like. memory serves me right this is where you pick up the animals double check we are way over here now animal dealer yep all right So it'd be cool if there was like some static horses out there just to make it feel like you're at a livestock dealer, but it's version one of the map. Let's get this back open. Back up just a little bit more. All right, so what do you think? What should we do? I can haul. Let's get a, let's get a black horse. Get you added over here. $500. And then we'll get one of these ones down here. I like that uh, coffee look. We'll buy one of those. All right, Stormy and Blaze. That's their adoption names. I can always name them something else if I want. All right, you ready to have a nice ride there, horses? Uh, did you change your name on YouTube? I was so confused. Yes, yes, I did. We are now the International Farmer. Now, I, uh, <clears throat> what that means is you're going to see a lot of farming content from now on and different style maps different countries. That's where the international part comes in. Tonight we're in North Carolina, uh, but there's nights where we might be in Russia, Europe, France, Canada. Uh, I want to be playing on a, a variety of maps with different equipment. Oops, didn't mean to hit that button. My bad. <clears throat> All right. D oh, no. First Raya and now you on the same day. Do not get county roads stuck in my head. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. Where's Virginia? Oh, I better be careful. I might get a copyright. That sounds too spot on. <laughs> uh, the farm I'm working on is the original Elm Creek map. Haven't used any money mods on this map. Haven't used any... Mo oh, you haven't? Nice. So you did a hard, a hard profile is what I call that. Hardcore profile. Nice. 
I think Elm Creek might go down in history as the best Giants map ever. I, I love Elm Creek. I still use it. I, I'm not tired of it. Elm Creek was very nicely done. Uh, Giants did good on that. I've never been a big fan of any of their maps, but Elm Creek blew, blew it out of the park. Loved it. Loved the horse trailer. Isn't that nice? It is nice. This traffic is nasty. Gotta watch what you're doing. All right, so my horse pen. Where the heck's my horse pen at? Trying to remember where everything's at. Uh, Daniel Castellanos coming in as a tier one cow tipper. That is a level one cow tipper right there. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> level one cow tipper in the house. Uh, keep singing. Yep, Elm Creek on hard mode. On hard mode, too. Nice. That's where all the rates are more realistic. All right, I got to I gotta walk around real quick. Got to figure out where I drop the horses off. All right, there, there's... Uh, what's this? Yeah. So I got to back them up to that spot. And they're going to take water. And food. Nice. I can do all that. All right. Let's see if we can get back there somehow. That fence connect. Yeah, I got to go in this way. <laughs> Probably not the best way to go in here, but get the job done. A uh, county line from 17 and 19 was released, but it's not finished. Oh, yeah, I tried it. It was rough. Yeah, I, I never had it. It never worked good for me on 19. Pretty pretty cool looking map, but it just didn't work for me. All right, say hello to your new home. Get those moved into the husbandry. All right, beautiful. Got two new horses, chat. All right. We're going to go into our animals here, and we're going to give them a couple names there. <clears throat> All right, we have two new members tonight, and your surprise is you get to be named after a horse. <laughs> All right, so first one is... Miss Fire Slan. Don't worry about that. All right, there we go. Miss Fire Slan is our first horse. And then Mr. Castellanos is our second horse. Ah, oh, doesn't let me put the whole Castellano. It'll be ha it'll have to be Castellan. All right, is that all right? Castellan. Daniel or no, we'll do Dan. There we go. Dan, that'll fix it. Dan Castellanos. All right, we got Dan Castellanos and Miss Firesland. And there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you bunch of jackwhackers. There you go. Now you get to be named after a horse. Why did you change your name on YouTube? Ah, uh, cause I have. I, I just wanted to change it up. I have a new vision. I want. I want to get away from all the Call of Duty and all. I mean, I'll still play Call of Duty. I'm just not gonna stream it anymore. 
that'll be something I just play when I'm relaxed and hanging out with my buddies. But, uh, yeah, I just want this to be all farm sim content. That's what I've uh, been thinking about a lot and excited to give it a shot and see how it goes. Right. I need to buy me a little gator to run around in. I got 23,000 bucks in the bank. I don't know how much a gator is. And I could take out loans, but I want to try to stay away from the loans if I can. <laughs> you have a crush on Miss Fire Slain? Nope. Nope. She's married, and I'm married. <laughs> uh, let's see. You should have gotten the horse white and blue. There's a white and blue horse? What? All right, let's put the rest of these oats in here. And that's what will immediately feed the horses because they like oats. Thing is nasty. My God, look how dirty this thing is. Holy cow. I think I haven't bought a pressure washer yet. We're gonna go back to using the old school pressure washers on uh, on the YouTube streams here. Going for the realism. Thought I put one in. Guess I forgot. All right, let's grab a pressure washer real fast. Tools. $4,500. That's ridiculous. Uh, we'll put that, like, right here. Alright, let's watch this thing come back to life. Dirty. Woo, she was dirty. Looking good now, though, huh? Fresh and clean. The header cleaned off good. Nice and fresh. And that is all the harvesting. I'm waiting for the Larson Farmers map to roll out in Dyersville by North Sim and custom modding. Yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised how much has been released in the short amount of time FS22 has been out. There's maps out there. You just got to look a little. Some people are like, where, where, where'd you find it? Oh, you got to go look for it. Sometimes you just got to go look, right? Nice. Like sweet. All right. Do we have enough money to get something to run around in? Getting tired of driving back and forth. Uh, I feel so alive. So that got this field about, I'd say overall, about 40% fertilized. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get ourselves set up. We're going to tip side back. Go feed them some oats, and then we'll need to get them some water, too. 
I think you were missing gas station simulator. Nope. I had enough of that for three hours. <laughs> no, nope, I had enough of that. Listen to that thing screaming. Fuck, you're killing me. That big old load on. Going in here with doubles may be a bad idea, but we should be all right. They usually follow you pretty close. Oh, yeah. Alright, horses are excited. Tip side back. Right about here? No? Maybe? Oh, tell me you're gonna take that. Don't make me back up. Don't make me back up. No! Why is it not taking that? Hip side back. Oh, I'm on the wrong trailer, dang it. Gosh darn it, chat. I was on the wrong one. I had the wrong trailer selected. There we go. <laughs> My bad. I had the wrong darn trailer selected. All right, nice. A little bit of leftovers there. Not sure if there's a gate to get out of here. I think it's one way in, one way out, unfortunately. So yeah, you gotta go back through that garage. What's up, Justin Masters? You owe us one because you forgot to enable Dennis Frosty. Please. Please. I speak for everyone else. Nobody wants to see that game again, except maybe two people. That's it. <laughs> I sleep sometimes, Justin. I require about six hours of sleep, five or six hours. We got some good pictures tonight. Let me get another one. There we go. This thing's struggling to pull these trailers. I like it. All right, we're going to store the rest in the silo. What did I do? I went the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> Great content. Thank you, Lewis. I went the wrong way, though. Still learning the darn map. Where the heck was... Where the heck do you store your... Uh... <laughs> where do you store your crops at, Daddy? Oh, crap. Where the heck am I supposed to store my crops? All right, we got flat bottom bin. Animal dealer. Bins only. You need an auger. Yeah. 
Need the auger. What? What is our uptime so far? I, uh, I don't know. I think I went around a little before midnight. We've been on about an hour. Big one to load it from top. Big one to load from top. <clears throat> I got this, but that's more for unloading the bin. So you're saying, uh, is the auger wagon going to be able to, like, how am I, how am I going to get rid of all this? Hour and six minutes. Who's this? What's up, Powdo? What's up, Jack Whacker? Trying to figure this out. I screwed it up. Yep, you need the big yellow one, too. Oh, gosh. Really? So is this pointless? I don't even need this one, huh? Should I just sell this one? Because I don't have a lot of money. Should I sell the Meridian? Thanks, Podo. You need the big yellow one. We'll just sell this one. Uh, big yellow one and an auger wagon, you're saying? <clears throat> uh. All right. Dang it, Bobby. $25,000. Ouch. Hmm. Things fancy. Hmm. Things big. Well, I'll be oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Auger wagon, just the big yellow auger. <sighs> this looks like you can dump into this this thing right here, though. Right here. Wouldn't I be able to dump from the trailer into this? And then, uh, I mean, we still need the auger wagon to to load into the bin. Oh my gosh. So I just bought that for no reason. You jackwhackers, you guys are killing me. Frosty, you've seen the new Mountain Dew Spark. I don't drink Mountain Dew. Yeah, I don't know much about that. All right, so we need an actual auger wagon. And you're saying the big yellow one? I don't even have a big yellow one. A big yellow auger wagon. Are you talking about this? That's just for potatoes, beets, beets. Uh, the seed runner. I have a mod, the seed runner. Would that get the job done? What about this one? That look good? Would that work? Uh, position that big yellow to the pump into the top of the big bin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You you know what? I'm about to you know, I'm about to. Uh you need that yellow you just had. Empty the trailer into it. Okay. I want to know now is this trailer okay to get? This white one right here. Should we get this trailer? I'm going to have to take out a loan. No, no, need that yellow auger. You had to pump the grain into the top of that bin. So you're calling that an auger. I'm calling that a conveyor belt. I thought an auger was an auger wagon. See, that's why I'm all confused. This is a belt system. See, convey all, belt system. That's not an auger, that's a belt. But anyways, I'll buy one of these again. <laughs> yeah, you got me all confused, guys. Uh, all right, so 
Let's fire this up again. Things wacky looking, huh? Alright, so from what I'm getting, you're saying place the yellow pipe on top of the bin and dump into this. That's what I'm getting out of all this, everything we've just talked about. <laughs> Am I right? Is that what we need to do? I'm going to get the tractor out of the way. So big pipe on top of the bin bottom part out so we can dump this into the bottom part and that'll load it into the bin. Can I get an amen on that? Is that what we need to be doing right here? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Daddy, huh? Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Jeez. Correct. All right. Thank you. We just wasted a crap load of money trying to figure that all out. <laughs> you guys kept saying auger and I'm thinking auger wagon in the game. Auger wagon, auger wagon. It's like, why would I need an auger wagon? All right. <laughs> I got to drive this all the way over here. Place where the red lid is on top of the bin to empty into the bin. Yep. Not much room to operate. All right, that's pretty much centered right on that bad boy, All right? All right, that's about as good as I can get that. All right, let's see. Let's get this out. So I'm guessing I can just get close to that and dump into that. Correct? Get it fired up. Unload here. All right, let's see if that works. Did I set that up right? Now you will move sidearm out and dump grain into it. Correct. All right. Cool. Ooh, Bobby, that was rough. <laughs> uh, well, well, well. If it isn't the irresistible farmer, that's right. Got it right there, Daddy. What's going on, Raya? Yeah, I'm trying to learn the whole uh, auger belt system. Quite interesting. So my question is, am I going to need that red belt? I'm probably going to need the red belt again to unload the... Or can I use this to unload it as well? That is the question. This is, this is interesting. Definitely not simple. So I'm guessing I need to get this closer. <laughs> I 
What a pain in the butt. Red to unload. I love belts. Keep my pants up. High rise. Now you will move sidearm out and dump grain into it. You can technically use this one to unload it, if I remember correctly, but using the red one would be easier than moving everything around. Yeah. I need to figure out how to... Why is the trigger point not showing up? All right, what are we doing wrong? I mean, I can't get any closer than I am. But you got a force unloaded or something? You always learn from my mistakes? Well, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> we got to learn somehow, huh? You should get a trigger. Hmm. Probably something not right. Silo is empty. Uh, let's see. Unload here. Control I. Maybe that needed to be activated. All right. Maybe that's what's going on. Let's see if the trigger pops up now. No. Nope. Am I in the right trailer? Yes. All right, nothing's working. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> we'll, 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 uh, hmm. We'll run by it another time, try to get as close as we can. Top of the silo open. How do you do that? You think that would just kind of be automatic, right? I don't think it. What, do I have to climb up on top of the silo and open it? <laughs> yeah, I could try... Yeah, let's try dumping on the right side of the trailer. Yep, that's a good idea. We'll try that. I forgot you could do that. All right, that should make it work. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's working. Whoo, man. Watched another streamer the other day. I forgot what he did. We got it. We had to put the side tipper on here. All right, so while that's dumping, <clears throat> let's check this out. I wish it showed, I wish it would at least show that it's coming out. says the silo is empty. <laughs> okay. It says the silo is empty, guys. I am so confused right now. So duh, where is it all? It says stop unloading. Okay. Oh, there we go. I accidentally did the control I. There we go. All right. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Now I'm happy. All right, 18,000 liters in there of wheat. Nice. All right. And I'm taking it. I can do multi-loads. Switch to the back trailer. And we're going to tip side right.
Nice. Alright, cool. That is pretty neat. Once you figure out how the heck to do it. <laughs> Turn off the... Yeah, I had the force unload on. Alright, cool. So that's figured out. I don't have enough money right at the moment to buy the red belt, but eventually I'll get one. That was actually pretty cool. I like that. Another screenshot. I'm in the screenshot mood tonight. There we go. Cool. All right. Harvesting is done. I think we got it all figured out here. Now I just need to make a little U-turn and get rid of my wagons. Thank you for all the help, guys. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> Pain in the butt. <laughs> also, those bins will hold every crop in one. Not realistic, but Farm Sim lets it do it. Nice. Good. <laughs> uh, what's up, Andrew Doggett? Yeah, I imagine in real life you'd have a bunch of different bins for each crop, which makes sense. But yeah, that's cool. It was a pain in the butt figuring it out, but it was, that's cool to know now. We're going to get these things parked up. We are done. Nice. Uh, Kevin, are you okay? Frosty, did you know that some say the word Ohio looks like a tractor? The word Ohio looks like a tractor? Some say the word Ohio looks like a tractor. I don't get it. Is that a joke? I don't understand. No, it doesn't. I don't understand that one. Uh, but thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, Kevin Flores, thank you for the $10 super chat. It says, is this live? Frosty, what's the last four of your social? Raya, I'm watching you. Hashtag Duan Baker 99. Oh my goodness. He found us, guys. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Uh, last four is 1111. There you go. And Raya probably already left. He hates Farm Sim. Can't stand it. All right, let me get some water. I think I have a water tank somewhere around here. I know I have a water tank around here. How much money I got? 2,000 bucks. I blew it all by buying the same thing multiple times and selling it. <laughs> me either, girlfriend sent me it. Oh, let's check our horsies. All right, horsies need water. And they are topped off on base food. So they do not need straw bedding. Interesting. All right. So now I don't ever have to make straw bales unless I'm looking to make money. Gotcha. So we'll only need to focus on like hay bales if we ever do make bales. So chopped straw will always be on this map. All right, there's my little water trailer. And I got a little tractor. I think I walked right by it. It's sitting right over here. My bad. Ohio equals O oh, big tractor when. H, the person sat in the tractor. I looks like the exhaust and O looks like the little wheel. So yes, the word Ohio looks like a tractor. Okay. Okay. I see it a little bit. Now I see what you're talking about. All right. Yeah. But I have never noticed that <laughs> until you guys said it. <laughs> nope. Never noticed it. All right. So here's another mod we're using, of course. We have a nice... Uh, which one is this? Get this disconnected for a second.
This is a John Deere 6420. It's a very small John Deere. Good for running around and doing chores around the farm. Little stuff like watering, uh, unloading bags of feed, stuff like that. Cool little tractor. We're going to go hook up to the little water trailer and give our horses some water. Never really looked at it like that, and I live here. Me neither, Philip. I lived there forever. Never looked at the word Ohio like that. I guess that's a non-Ohioan thing to do. <laughs> Never heard of that. All right, we're going to find out if the water trigger in the pond works. Nothing beats some free water. Are you going to hook up to the trailer? There we go. I haven't tried that out yet, so we'll be finding out together. Let's see where the closest water source is. Uh, it's not really sand, but I think there was water right over across the street. Cool. Go find out if it works. I am mind blown. Did not know that. I think you'd be able to get water at the fire station. Some free water at the fire station. Come out. There is a little water texture thing going on, I noticed. It kind of like flickers. So don't be surprised if you see some flickering. This may or may not work. I'm not sure. I hope it don't work like the backhoe. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, crap. I got a water trailer that has the double pivot. That's my fault. All right, we might fall into the pond. See how the texture's flickering? Yeah, I don't like that. Something got messed up there. Ooh, it works. And we're filled. It only holds a thousand liters, but we'll take it. Nice. That did work. When did you change your name on here? Today. Today, Andrew. Yep. Same. It's the same old me. We just got a new uh, look going here. I want to start basing. I want the focus to be farm sim. I mean, I love playing farm sim off stream, so I figured let's just kind of convert the page into a farming party. You know what I'm saying? But if anybody wants to try this map out, I put the link in the description. It's called Gray Stone Map by Large H Modding. Raystone map. It's based in Rockingham County, North Carolina. So uh, try it out if you want. I put it in the description. All right. Like it filled them up pretty much. Oh, look at that. That's good enough. Happy horsies now. Beautiful. Let's see if they're dirty already. Nope. Looking good. All right. Very nice. All right. Full of food, full of water. Mission accomplished right there. Now I just got to focus on making money. Uh, most all the water sources can be used to fill tanks on maps. Yep. I guess I was more concerned on how I was going to get down in there because it had a big steep dip to it. If you need an easy way to get your tractor down to water, I know a guy on Facebook who builds boat launches. I might, I might have to go over there and do a little bit of tweaking. 
So I have a, a nice little uh, way of getting in and out of there. Actually, let's do that right now. We'll get into edit mode and lower a little slope so we can get in and out of there easy. The closer, the better, like right here. All right. I need it to be a little smoother. Soften it up a little bit. Go. And then we'll add some grass back where it was. And then we'll make a little dirt path leading down to it. Little wrap around. Cause that's what we'll usually be doing, wrapping around with that little trailer. There you go. All right, see how my new little water hole is. I'd say it's a win. I say that works. What do you think about that? Not too shabby. That's a nice little uh, transformation there. Easy peasy. Uh, at least four more hours. If I remember, I will find that trailer I have that has a pin lock to lock turning axles so you can back it up and send it over. Oh, really? A pin lock? All right, so we're, I just wanted to top that off so it's ready for next time. We'll go put that right back where we got it. And if anybody new is watching, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to start doing a lot of farming on this channel. Uh, late at night, like I said, content's going to be different as far as the farming goes. Uh, I, I named the new page, or I, I renamed it International Farmer for a reason. Uh, we're going to be checking out different parts of the world, farming in you know Europe, France, Poland, Russia, United States. So we're going to be bouncing around, just enjoying different types of equipment, different styles of farming. So uh, hit that subscribe. Hopefully anybody new uh, comes back to watch in the future. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so that's a nice little tractor for doing chores, huh? Pretty shabby. All right, let's see what I have to do here. No more lists either. I kind of go with the flow on these farms. All right, so horses are good. Got that taken care of. We take a look on our silo. We got 18,000 liters of wheat, 3,500 liters of oats that we figured out how to put in there. And uh, oats we're going to keep. Wheat is in demand, so we're going to go sell it. Uh, yeah. After all that work putting it in the grain, we are going to go sell it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's tag that place. Where the heck is that at? 
Oh my gosh. We got a long drive, ladies and gentlemen. We got to go way up here. Uh, so let's go make some money. I need all the money we can get. We're almost broke. <laughs> uh, international farmer boat launch equals two minutes. Poto bo boat launch equals two point two to three hour streams. Yes, two, three hour streams. His is a little more complex than my little slope I just flattened. <laughs> And he did it with tools like a champ. I, I can't do that stuff like he does. He, he's, 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 he's special. He has special power abilities. So all that work. And I don't have the red belt. How the heck are we going to do this? Oh my. How much money do I have? Twenty one hundred bucks. And how much is the red belt? Fourteen thousand five hundred. <sighs> should I rough it? Maybe I should rough it and get rid of one of these trailers. How much are these bad boys worth? Ooh, good. Yeah, definitely selling that. <laughs> All right, so we got twenty-three thousand dollars left over. Um, yeah, we'll buy a red one. Beautiful. What a mess this is going to be. It's going to be like a maze trying to get in and out of here. <laughs> uh, should I facepalm now, Frosty, or while helping you unload the silo? Hey, I, can, uh, I know how to operate this one a lot better. This one's easy. <laughs> All right. Let's get this off. I kind of like these things. These are cool. I'm kind of digging how this all works. These things are a pain in the butt to drive, though. <laughs> and they're very slow. Poto has the special power on telephone poles. Yes, he does. He's just special all around. Very special. He's my buddy. It's my friend. Oh, crap. I want to hit the other one. These things are really finicky to drive. Do they have horns on them? Nope, no horns. That's sad. Trying to wiggle through here. <laughs> uh, Kevin Flores, thank you for the $5 super chat. Says, are you the international farmer? And Duan wants to know if the prep H worked. What? Prep H worked. What did Duan say about Prep H? Duan. Frosty, can you tell Kevin to step away from the sugar, please? He won't listen to me. So, what are you talking about Prep H? I don't understand you sometimes. But who does? Alright, I need to figure this out. This thing is a nightmare to drive, by the way. I think I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> what a mess. Oh, this thing really sucks. It, like, barely turns. What the heck is going on here? thing is horrible. Uh, Lewis, don't say that to Poto. He'll have a conniption. They are utility poles, not telephone. Yeah, they're utility poles, you jackwhacker. Yeah, don't get him started on that. This thing sucks to drive. I can't put it down. I got stinking bins right in front of me. That ain't gonna help much. All right, there we go. Now we can put it down a little bit. Still handles like trash. Ugh, my gosh. Oh, 
dang it, Bobby. Holy cow. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the robots are going nuts. They're like, what the heck is happening here? My goodness. What a horrible position to be in. Now, now I, now I, what? How's this even going to work? All right, hopefully the truck can fit through there. <laughs> I don't know if the truck can fit through there or not. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be a tight squeeze. That just got through there, but hey, we'll take it. Oh, it didn't. It got stuck. Got stuck on the pole. <laughs> what a stinking mess. All right, we're going to move that sideways. Because now that we understand how that works... We'll have a little more room to operate. <laughs> Easy peasy, yeah. I'd Hey, you hop in here and do it, Amber. I'd love that. You back this thing in, because I sure can't. All right. Got a lot of backing practice in tonight. that thing lined up nice and pretty. Start filling with wheat. And there we go. It's actually working. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's working. It's cool. Pain in the butt. That's cool. Uh, side road behind that vehicle shed. I, st I still got to get it loaded, though. I mean, there's only the bin on the one side. You know what I mean? Right? But, yeah, there is a side road. I don't know. How's that going to help me, though, when the, the bin's right there? Ooh, that was rough. All right, we are loaded up. Holy smokes. Let's get the heck out of here. My goodness. Now we get to fight North Carolina traffic out in the boonies. <laughs> uh, should move the yellow one to the side one. Oh, that car is letting me by. Well, that was nice. Wow, everybody's letting me through. What a bunch of nice people in North Carolina. All right, off we go. <laughs> oh, man, that was rough. <clears throat> the yellow auger on the side road. Yes, that is a good idea. Uh, is that what you meant? I think that's what Ray meant. Okay. Yeah. From now on, we will unload from the other road and load on the way we just did. But either way, that's a tight that's a tight area. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm loving the traffic though. 
traffic feels realistic. Like they're not going super slow. They're like flying by. I like that. Here we are. Fresh produce. Like they got a entrance right here. Not the best, biggest entrance in the world, but get the job done. All right, we're gonna unload the back. Make some money. All right, let's look at that money go up. I hope we make some good money. It was in demand. We were running low on the dough. Uh, what's that say? $8,700 harvest. All right, not bad. $8,700, chat. Not too shabby. So that's our first harvest on Greystone map. Oh, crap. I thought they were going to keep going. They stopped. <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty, then. Cool. All right. Ooh, there's something I want to check real quick. There's a new mod that came out. I doubt it's going to work on this map, but we'll find out anyway. Uh, contracts. Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, my goodness, chat. It works. They have new... There's a new mod out called Supply and Transport. I can't believe it works. You don't know how happy that makes me. Oh. Supply and Transport Contracts. Is that not cool or what? So, uh, Zoe Scott, supply 31,000 liters of sorghum to GCHB grain elevator before time expires. Contract holder will be charged for missing product. Uh, let's try it out. Try it out. I want to see if this works. Where do we pick it up at, though? Um, let's see. Where do I pick up? I don't have to bring her my sorghum, do I? Oh, is it just that? Oh, right here. Is that it? That's the CBH grain elevator. That's where we're at. Uh, that's where it needs to be delivered. Hmm. Oh, boo. Never mind. Never mind. Gosh. I was thinking you got to, like, deliver it for people. Never mind. You got to have your own stuff. <laughs> oh. Missing crops. Eight. Oh, gosh. Uh. Well, now we're negative a thousand dollars. Oh, well. I guess we just tested that out. That was an epic fail. <laughs> Son of a. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just fell for another farming scam. I just got scammed, chat. They took all my money because it was $18,000 worth of crops. And if you don't deliver it, you get fined. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> uh, cool mod, though. I see what it is. So if you have, you got to make sure you have enough stuff. So if we would have had our own sorghum, 
That's how much we would have made. Son of a... Did you see that one? It was like 500... It was like a half a million dollars. I'm glad I didn't accept that one. <laughs> that would have been uh, very sad. Very sad indeed. Well, I'll be darned. Well, I ain't got no money now. <laughs> When's the auction for all your equipment? <laughs> yeah, we're going bankrupt early. All right, I'm going to try to get that that auger pipe put in a better place. All right. Thanks for bearing with me, everyone. Thank you so much. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this over here. We're going to get her turned around. That way it'll be better for next time. I can't believe I just got ripped off like that. If you had the sorghum, that would have 2.5 the regular price. That's pretty good stuff right there, Steven. Kind of cheating, huh? It's a mod. But it would have been cool. It would have been cool if I made it work. That new engine start mod adds some nice new features. We get to try to line this up again. Hang on, Bobby. Did that pretty darn good right now. That looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Then I can sit that like right there, or I can put it right there. Put it on that side. All right, cool. What do you think of that? It's a little better setup. And then this jack whacker. Can be more over to the side. What do you think of that? Much better, right? Much better. Cool. Yeah, that's plenty of room to do what I got to do now. Nice. A little more room to operate. What do you say? What do you say? Easy Chihuahua, don't get angry. You got robbed. I did get robbed. It's very sad. All right, cool. Splendid. All right, let's take a look at a few things here on the map down here shows almost over we're gonna go about 12 more minutes so i got time for one last task Let's see what we got here get a little little music going for you maybe there you go all right growth those two are harvested beautiful 
Um, soil composition. We got a little bit of weedage going on here. A little bit of weedage. Not too concerned about weeds at the moment. Although... Wait a minute. I think I have a weeder? Can't remember if I have a weed thingy or not. <laughs> a weed thingy. Uh, fertilize. Those are horrible with weeds. Ooh, 52 needs harvested. What's that? I didn't know that was way back there. Dang it, Bobby. We got another field to harvest. Is that more oats? I think that's more oats. I didn't know that was... Jeez. Well, there we go. I figured out what... We got to harvest one little baby. It's not big. It's a tiny field. Mow the grass. Have a good night. I could mow the grass real quick, but I ain't going to get no money. Ooh. I could pick up my straw on this one field and sell it. I think this is a sell point. Where's my guy at? That's an animal dealer. Yeah, I think you can sell your straw here. Right at your own farm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, let's go do that real quick. I'll show you one of my other tractors. My other tractor. So here's the tractors we have on the farm. We got a Case Puma 240. And we got a John Deere 8R. Then over here, of course, we have our old Oliver, which we'll be firing that up to pick up some straw. That was a very nice donation you just put up. It says, it's easy. It's easy? Easy? What's up? It's easy. Uh, yes, sir. It's a sell point. Nice. That is perfect. Nothing beats a little bit of work ending the night with the Oliver. Yeah, yeah. Well, dang it. Now I got to decide what's better, fertilizing my fields or selling my, sh my uh, swath. Probably ain't going to make a whole lot of money selling the swath, so. That lowered. Just like that, baby. Pick up that straw like it ain't no thing. Lower down a little bit, you actually hit three mile per hour with that piece of equipment. <laughs> hey, watch it. <laughs> uh, International farmer confession time. Do you see money cheat to set up the new map? Then lower it back down to stream. That's a lot of nice equipment on it. Yes, of course. But then I play realistically afterwards. <laughs> and this map comes with zero equipment. So you, you don't have anything anyway, so you have to, yeah, you have to, kind of. This might have been like the perfect amount just by leaving one swath. This might almost fill the whole wagon or maybe fill the whole thing. We're at 42% already. Nice. 
There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cleaned up that field real good. Got about 70%. That is almost 16,000 liters of loose straw. Now we can sell it all. That should get me back in the positive, I hope. <laughs> it just needs a vehicle XML added so you have starting equipment. Yep. Slow it down, Frosty. I'm trying not to get too crazy, all right? All right, hopefully this trailer fits under here. Or maybe you just have to get fairly close. Dang it. Oh, I think it's static on top. Nice. All right, look at that money go up. Come on, get me out of the negative. Ah, dang it. We got 900, nine, excuse me, 929 bucks. And we're still negative $65 in the hole. We almost pulled it off. <laughs> You didn't get robbed, you donated it. You can actually use it as a tax write-off, so it's, it's uh, yeah. I'm just gonna park this next to the shack. That'll remind me that that's where it is. Ooh, I got another cool tractor I forgot to show you. Let's go park this real quick. <laughs> Love the sound of that. All right. I got one little thing hiding in here. Yeah. Thing is sweet. It's the Case Puma. The Case Puma with the tinted windows. I got this thing set up for cultivating. And we got a little bit of time. Let's do a little bit of cultivating. What do you say? Thing's pretty sharp looking. Oh, I got to change my license plate. Now that we have a new name. Oh, my goodness. We got to change the app. Oh, ooh, I thought it reset everything. All right, we're good. Let's change this to the INT farm. Now, Interna international farmer. The international farmer. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. How about that tractor, though? You like that? Uh, use Zell to pay off the 65. <laughs> you didn't... Uh, how starting equipment is added, you have to launch the map, buy all the equipment, and place it where you want people to find it, then save and copy vehicle XML from save game into the map folder and zip it. Nice. That way it's all set up for people that... Don't want to have to go through all setting it up. I feel you. I feel you right there, Bobby. Ooh, let me make sure that field didn't need any lime. It's fertilized, and it does not need lime. All right, so we're just going to cultivate it. get rid of that stinking uh, marker. There we go. 
we go. That tractor's bussing. You like that? I like it too. Got that sharp look. I bet Raya would like this. It's all red. He loves red. It really is sharp looking though. It's like a medium size, medium cultivator. I like it. Case brand too. Uh, change the license plates on his map. Louisiana mapping changed the map on his map and put it as Louisiana plate. So I think that map needs a North Carolina plate. Oh, yeah. Is it got? Oh, yeah. I did notice that. That's another map I have uh, set up and ready to roll. You guys will be seeing a little bit of Louisiana soon. I'm probably going to do some Louisiana on Facebook, too. That map, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that tinted windows inside. Nice sunny day. I even got a little extra seat if someone wants to ride with. Anybody want to ride with? Ride shotgun? Huh? 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 Sunroof. You'll ride, Dwayne. How did I know you'd want to ride with? That would be so awkward, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be awkward? What do you think, chat? Would it be awkward having Dwayne sitting right next to me? <laughs> oh, that might be a little awkward. Mix it up and go this way. I only ride on sexy green tractors. I like Case. You're not a, you don't like Case, huh? I love John Deere too, but man, good looking tractor right here. Doesn't turn very tight with those duels. <clears throat> but the duels make it look sweet. We never get anything done. <laughs> oh, no, we wouldn't. Probably knock this field out and call it a night. How's that sound, chat? And thank you so much for uh, hanging out. I appreciate you guys showing up. First stream under the new looking brand, so everything probably felt pretty much the same for most of you. Still goofy old Frosty. We just got a, you know, a little new look going on, a little new focus on farming and kind of getting away from the, the shooter games. Now, if anybody read the description, I don't know if anybody did, but I also put ATS and Euro Truck. And what that means is there might be nights where I do a load or two of some, like, livestock or farm machinery or, you know, some grain hauling or something that farmers would do. Because I want everything to kind of revolve around farming in general. But yeah. Occasionally, you might see one of those two games pop up, too, on here. I might mow my front yard. We might end the show mowing the front yard. Just let me get this cultivated real quick, and we'll hop on. We do have a zero turn, which was a waste of money, because I don't get paid for that. But I knew you guys would want to see a little bit of mowing.
Good night, Stone Cold. Someone hit me up at 9 a.m. in the morning thinking you got hacked. I got scared too, says located. <laughs> yeah, we'll mow the front yard with the zero turn so the people of North Carolina don't get mad. Say I'm not taking care of my yard. some uh, window flickering going on or uh, mirror flickering it's always a pain in the butt that's disappointing dang it nice tractor possibly yeah possibly late night grain convoy yeah that's a possibility I'm getting real crazy. I was even thinking about making some uh, international farmer paint jobs for, like, the trucks to uh, haul my grain with or flatbed for equipment or low boy, you know, but have the logo on the door just to add a little flair, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I notice. Because there's a lot of cool mods and some of the mirrors like have conniption fits. I'm like, what the heck, man? Alright, couple more swipes. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the show. One last time, if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Hit the like button if you haven't. And you're always welcome to share the stream. Like when I first go live, you can share it wherever the heck you you share stuff. I don't know. But we're about done, so no sharing needed now. Sharing. Last little patch is a pain in the butt, huh? Well, we got a couple of horsies on the farm. So if we actually take care of the horsies, we can sell them, make a profit. Be like a horse boarding type of map. That's pretty much what I think his idea was. Is take good care of the horsies, train them, keep them clean. Get their daily riding in, which there's a mod I'm going to use for that. There's a horse care mod. We'll definitely get that activated. <laughs> I ain't riding all those horses. <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne. Ain't no way I'm going to be riding horses every time I'm on this map. Ah, beautiful. Go spray this bad boy down, get her parked, and then we'll mow a little bit of grass. We'll just mow in the front yard of the house. All right, actually, I could just park this here. There you go. I like that tractor. All right, let's mow some. Let's mow my front yard. Ready? 
try not to knock down my uh, mailbox. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I didn't hit the mo I thought I was going to knock the mailbox down. Beautiful. See, Bobby. Oh man, you blew grass on the street. Ah, don't you worry about that. All those cars driving by will blow it right back in my yard. something you can't see, right? You made it a horse ranch. Yep, make it a horse ranch. I always enjoy Thank you, buddy. There's those grass stickers. What do you think of the stickers, guys? Did I do a good job? I tried to think of... Who, oh. Um, the corny joke one. Did anybody notice the corny joke sticker? <laughs> My question is... I did black text. Does that mean you can't see it? Because my YouTube... Like, it's on dark mode. So if it's on dark mode, does that mean the black text isn't going to show up? All right, look at that fresh cut yard. I'm out. We'll square it off at the uh, utility pole. Try to get a nice square here. Should be good enough. All right, just like I promised. Oh, the front yard, and that actually does look pretty darn good. Even got lines in the yard. Very nice. Look at that. Fresh and clean. So I could do the back real quick, huh? Stickers are good. Yeah, I can't see the black text. I'm in dark mode. All right. I should probably change it to white, huh? That way it'll show up all the time, no matter if you're in dark or regular. Yeah, I might have to change that. Dang it. You, you, all, you never realize stuff until you see it messed up. <laughs> and you're like, dang it. Now we're good. There we go. Good enough. Love those wheels. Look at these fancy wheels on here. Uh, Rhett Acres. What are you doing, boy? Coming in here with another bomb there. Thank you, Daddy. That is Rhett Acres. With the $5 super chat says, Now I can sleep well. Thank you for cutting the grass. You're very welcome, sir. You're very welcome. And thank you. That does look good, huh? Nice and fresh. See how it looks from the road here. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm the only person on the street that mowed his yard. <laughs> Beautiful. 
All right, chat. Well, that's enough for me. Uh, we can enjoy the pretty view and hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, thank you for our first stream here under the new name, The International Farmer. Thanks for the support, even though we changed things up. Thank you, guys. Uh, don't forget there is a Facebook page for this as well. That's a place where I'll I'll share the stream just like I used to in the other group. Well, now that this has a new name, I'm just going to share it there not to confuse people and just kind of build what we got going on here uh, for my YouTube channel. Because this, this is something I've just been wanting to do, you know? It's just something I've been wanting to do. So thank you. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. And we will possibly... You might see me again over the weekend here on YouTube, but definitely not on Facebook. I'll be off until Monday over there. Have a great weekend, guys. Uh, Amber, thank you for the $1.49. Unicorn, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Walter Trent, have a good one. Luis Alvarez, Philip Deem, and anybody that was watching. Like I said, hit that subscribe if it's your first time here. Uh, I'm excited to see where this all goes. Hopefully you like farming, because that's what we be doing up in here. Eddie London, peace out. Duane, Daniel Castellanos, thank you for becoming a new member, Daniel. Uh, located, GG. Oh, boy. GG. GG, said. Luis Alvarez, good night. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's the International Farmer signing off. Have a great one. Goodbye.